In today's video, I'm going to share with you step-by-step -step instructions and a tutorial on how to perform ombre eyebrows on latex. Welcome to my channel. My name is Erica and I'm a professional permanent makeup artist. If you are here for the very first time visiting, our content is designed to help artists improve their permanent makeup work. If you are interested in permanent makeup, please consider subscribing to my channel. I put out new content every week. Learning how to create ombre brows or soft powder brows on latex practice skin will prepare you for creating permanent makeup on a real live client's face. Please remember Remember, take a regulated training in person in your area before performing this permanent makeup treatment on others. Ombre comes from the French meaning gradient in English. As a result, the style will have light and dark segments and should transition in a beautiful way from one color to the next. As the eyebrow design is created, the gradient dark section is created by layering additional color in the dark segments only. Layering three to seven layers, adding in each layer to the segment that will appear darker. Adding pigment to blend from one section to the next, the color can only blend from dark to light sections. For shading, I work with a handpiece flicking away from my heart and towards my heart. For horizontal motion, I mostly flick towards myself. For vertical or diagonal motion, I mostly flick away from myself. using my roller and I also use a sticky roller and calipers during my treatments with real clients so I'm pretty obsessed with measurements. Use a ruler to measure out 6.5 centimeters horizontally across the paper. Split 4 centimeters and 2.5 centimeters for the bulb to the arch and then the arch to the tail. At the 4 centimeter point, measure 1.5 centimeters vertically from the baseline up. Mark the 0.5 centimeter point and the 1.5 centimeter point. Connect the dots. I prefer to draw eyebrows that are 6.5 centimeters in length and 1 centimeter in width. Curve the edges with curving the upper arch point underneath and the lower or arch point above. Curve the fronts of the eyebrows. Make sure that the lower baseline comes out further than the upper baseline of the bulb. The bulb of the eyebrow is always slightly thicker than the arch of the eyebrow. Additionally, I like for the end point of the tail to be at equal height is the lower bulb point or above the lower bulb point. I use my cute eraser to erase all of the harsh lines. This is so important so that you get a really soft effect and you can see your gradient once you complete the shaded eyebrows on latex. You leave only enough of the pencil line so that you can see a guide, but it does not need to be a harsh, visible outline. I always tilt the top of my machine towards myself to ensure I am holding my machine properly. For the first pass, you can begin at the bulb or the tail, 
but for my first pass, I like to begin at the tail. If the machine is not working properly, I go off to the side of the latex and test just to make sure my needle is working properly and dispersing pigment at an even flow. If too much pigment is dispersing, just making a mess very quickly, that means the needle length is too short, so you want to make it a little longer. If there's no pigment being implanted on the latex, you want to shorten your needle length. It's just so long that the pigment flow is not uniform. I shade up, down, up, down, up, down, moving from one segment to the next, and I make sure that I don't stay in one spot for too long, therefore, I ensure that the saturation and brightness of the work will be even once I wipe off this pigment. I overlap by 50% with each segment. It is super important that when you are moving from one section to the next, that you are doing this with overlap and a flicking motion. You can flick towards yourself, therefore you're not creating patchiness. It's important that it all looks super even. Once I complete this, I then move on to the other eyebrow and complete the first pass. The video is sped up, but I do want you to remember to move your hand at a medium to high hand speed during the first pass. You don't want to move your hand at too low of a speed because we are trying to create gaps and pixels between each time the needle is hitting the skin and implanting the pigment. Before wiping, I make sure to touch all of the edges to ensure I have secured the borders of my design. Once I've completed the first pass, I wipe thoroughly with baby oil and baby wipes and take a look at what I've completed. Latex is so great because it is a telltale sign of your pressure, your stroke, the way you're flicking if it's correct, and the way you're overlapping. Then we begin the second pass. I begin the second pass the same way I started the first pass. Having consistency in the passes and the protocol will ensure a beautiful symmetrical result for both eyebrows. For the second pass, I do not cover the full length and width of the eyebrow. I start to create the dark segment. I leave off 
a few millimeters from the top portion of the entire eyebrow. In the second pass, I work horizontally and I work diagonally from the bottom portion of the eyebrow, which will be the darkest segment. I do the same type of a pass on the other eyebrow to make them consistent. Again, we're using baby oil and baby wipes, and you can begin to see the gradient form. Try to focus and be present while you're doing your latex work, but also remember you're not a machine. So don't be so down on yourself and give yourself a little bit of grace to fix things up before you continue working on. For the third pass, we work in the darkest segment or the bottom section of the eyebrow, and we only touch the middle segment. For the third pass, I work horizontally and vertically. I don't don't touch any of the edges, including the front bulbs of the eyebrows. After the third pass, I wipe with baby oil and baby wipes and take a look at my work. I begin a fourth pass blending from the darkest section to the lighter sections. The color does a transition from one section to the next, but it should look really easy and flawless and not too perfect as dark, medium, light, but more of a gradient that slowly and evenly transitions. I then complete a fifth pass just to continue blending from the darkest to the dark section.
My style of permanent makeup ombre eyebrows, or I also call them soft powder brows, is really soft, not too dark of a look, and therefore they do look really soft on latex work. Now, if you want more color or more of a bold brow, you can just continue by blending and adding more and more layers. You can add up to 10 layers if you like. Thank you for watching. I hope this helps you in your permanent makeup journey. Please like, subscribe, and follow for more permanent makeup and beauty magic. For more information, visit the description box below. Bye!